السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد I welcome you all to the class of أم أم ملخص الفقه الحمد لله we are going to start our fiqh classes إن شاء الله تعالى and um it's very interesting because fiqh is we need it every day in our lives and these are the books ملخص الفقه which every Muslim should read I believe because it it includes especially the the tahara and the ibadat section maybe not the muamalat which is the second volume especially the first volume inshallah ta'ala and get basic knowledge you know and not go into uh, difference of opinions and all that as of now but uh, start from this book inshallah ta'ala and uh, let's begin today we will learn about water right water and uh, the fuqaha the scholars jurists they used to start with water because for salah, you need wudu, and for wudu, you need water, right? So let's talk about what are the types of water and uh, how can you do purification with water. So, babun fi ahkam taharati wal miyah. Babun fi ahkam taharati wal miyah. So this is the bab. Hmm? So every kitab will have a bab, <coughs> chapters like headings. They didn't translate that in the rulings of tahara, purification, and miyah. Ma on plural is mia waters. In English, we don't translate, we don't make plural of water, but in Arabic, we do mia. Mia is the plural. So, how does it begin? Maybe I can zoom. Yeah. Inna salata hi ruknu thani min alkan al Islam ba'da shahadatain. So, he says, prayer, inna salah, indeed salah, is the second pillar from the alkan al Islam ba'da shahadatain. So, after anyone who becomes a Muslim or uh, who's already a Muslim, Salah comes, you know, when he reaches Bulug or before that even, uh, Salah is important. And it is Fadiqa. It will distinguish, it is the differentiator between a Muslim and a Kafir. And it is a pillar, cornerstone they translated. Cornerstone of Islam. Amud pillar, cornerstone. And it is the first thing which when a person will be questioned about, the slave will be questioned about. فَإِنْ صَحَّتْ وَقُبِلَتْ قُبِلَ سَائِرُ عَمَلِهِ And if, if it is correct, صَحَّتْ, if it is صحيح, and قُبِلَتْ, and if it is accepted, قُبِلَ سَائِرُ عَمَلِهِ All of his other actions will be accepted. Right? وَإِنْ رُدَّتْ رُدَّ سَائِرُ عَمَلِهِ And if it is rejected, hmm, so will be all of one's deeds. رُدَّ سَائِرُ عَمَلِهِ Right, so, so, so Sheikh Saleh Al Fazan he writes very simply, very point to point, you know, direct way. Alhamdulillah, even as Arabic is so beautiful, anyone can understand. Inshallah, basic readers of Arabic also. Waqad zuki that is salatu fi, and they give uh, the tashkil also. Notice they give tashkil also so that we can make it easy for the people to read it. Waqad zuki that is salatu, not all, but you know, most of the time. Waqad zuki that is salatu fi mawatina kathiratin min al Quran al Kadim. Prayers mentioned in different contexts, in various places, ala sifatin mutanawwiya, in various forms. So he says, the Shaykh says, Hafizahullah, various ways. فَتَارَةً يَأْمُرُ اللَّهُ بِقِيْقَامَتِهِ So he says, sometimes Allah commands establishing وَقِيمُ الصَّلَاةِ وَتَارَةً تَارَةً means sometimes أَحْيَانًا وَتَارَةً يُبَيِّنُ مَزِيَّتَهَا And sometimes he demonstrates its merits, maziyya, features, characteristics. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala defines, like for example, Salah, إِنَّ صَلَاةَ كَانَتْ was the words that Tanhanil Fashai Wal Munkar, right? Tanhanil Fashai Wal Munkar. I can't, I don't remember the previous. Or, right? So, where is that Salah stops you from Fahsha, Fahsh things, obscene things, bad things, Wal Munkar and evil things? Watadatan Yubayinu Thawabah, and sometimes it Allah shows the Thawab in Waqimu Salat. Allah shows the reward for establishing it. They'll get Jannah and so on. وَتَارَةً يَقْرِنُهَا مَعَ الصَّبْرَ And sometimes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala associates with sabr. وَالسَّعِينُ بِالصَّبْرِ وَالصَّلَةِ Seek help through sabr and salah. وَيَعْمُذُ بِالْإِسْتِعَانَةِ بِهِمَا عَلَى الشَّدَائِدِ And he commands that, seek help 
استعانه تو بهما على الشدائد when problems come correct when problems come adversity in adversity his health through both in adversity ومن ثم so he brings the fadila that Allah subhanahu wa taala has explained uh, brought expl- about sala in various ways ومن ثم and there is uh, from that hence hence ومن ثم يعني hence كانت خرة عين عين الرسول الله رسول صلى الله عليه وسلم في هذه الدنيا it was the coolness of the eyes It was the comfort of the eyes, coolness of the eyes of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and the zik coolness of the eyes. فهي حلية النبيين. It is the ornaments of the Prophet حلية. وشعار الصالحين. It's a sign of righteous servants. وهي صلة بين العبد وبين رب العالمين. And it is a connection. Between the Abd and the Rabbul Alameen. وهي تنعى عن الفحشاء والمنكر. And تنهى it prevents immorality, hmm? immorality and wrongdoing. والمنكر. ولما كانت هذه الصلاة لا تصيح إلا بطهارة المصلي. So prayer is not deemed valid. لا تصيح is not correct. إلا بطهارة المصلي. Except with the purification of the مصلي. The prayer, the one who prays, he should be pure. من الحدث. From hadath wa najas, hadath is like uh, he pa- passes gas or units and all that's called hadath. And then najas is uh, what uh, cleanliness of the clothes and all that. Uh, najas hasbaq hasbaq qudrati ala dalik as much as possible, like according to his qudra ability. They translate it as minor and major impurity. Yeah, okay, minor and major ritual impurity. وكانت مادة التطهر هي and the madam the means the the object of purification that means with which you purify yourself so can a person just become pure without anything no we need something to clean it out right هي الماء it is water أو ما يقوم مقامه من التيمم or whatever takes its place of تيمم that is clean earth من عن عند عدم الماء when you don't have water You'll do. Tayammum. Saad al-fuqahahu rahimahullahu yabda'una bi kitab al-tahara. So he's explaining, okay, you need prayer. So you need tahara for the prayer, purification for the prayer. So the fuqaha, the scholars, jurists, they started with the faqees. They started, used to start their book with kitab al-tahara. So m- most of the books you go, kitab al-tahara, they begin. لِأَنَّهَا لَمَّا قُدِّمَتِ قُدِّمَتِ الصَّلَاةُ بَعْدَ الشَّهَادَتِينَ عَلَىٰ غَيْرِهَا مِنْ بَقِيَّةِ أَرْكَانِ الْإِسْلَامِ Because prayer is that the head. قُدِّمَ It is preceded after shahadatain. After shahadatain, if a person accepts Islam now, he has to pray Zohar or Asr or Maghrib, whatever. From all of the pillars. نَاسِبٌ تَقْدِيمُ مُقَدِّمَتِهَا it is appropriate munasib I don't know nasib it is appropriate nasib is also nasibu nasibun taqdimu muqaddimatiha muqaddimatiha so it is appropriate that you start handling muqaddimatiha it's prerequisites it's prerequisites wa minha tahara so what is required for salah first thing you is required is tahara right fa hiya miftahu salah and it is the key of salah miftah salah kama fi hadith miftah salati tahur and like the rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said in this hadith in akhrajahu min hadith ali radiyallahu anhu in ahmad abu daud and so on miftah salati tahur the key to prayer is purification the key to prayer is purification wa dhalika li anna al hadath yamna'u as because the hadath so it's called what hadath Mm, they translate it as minor ritual impurity. Okay, yeah, hadas is going urinating, uh, defecating, and you know, passing as hadas. Yam naus salah. Hadas, what it does is it prevents you from salah. Fahuwa kal kufli. He gives an example and says it is like a lock. You daru alal muhdith, which is put on the muhdith, the the person who is in the impurity. Faida tawatta. So if he does wudu in hal al qufl in hal al qufl the lock is open the lock goes away or padlock is unlocked 
فالطهارة أوكد شروط الصلاة. And so tahara is central. Awkad yani ta'akid. There's a lot of emphasis. Emphasize shurut al-salah. Conditions of the salah. Wa shartu la budda an yuqaddama ala al-mashrut. And the shart. And the condition is to be fulfilled before the mashrut. So there's shart, right? There's condition for doing this. And how do you know what is shart? So there's shart and there's rukn. Pillar. Pillar is part of the salah. Like pillar. Like standing, bowing and all that. that. Those like 14 pillars. Inshallah we'll come to that. Shart is before the salah. Hmm? Shart is before the salah. And shart is something, condition is something where um, just because, I mean, absence of the condition means the absence of the action. Like for example, if somebody prays without wudu, it's gone. It's not acceptable, right? Because he does not have wudu. So absence of condition is equal to absence of the salah, of absence of the action, fail. But presence of the condition does not mean, is not equal to presence of the salah. Right? I mean, the soul of fiqh, this is all there. So, like, for example, I have wudu, right? Doesn't mean, does it mean that I should pray? No. If I want, I can pray. I mean, it's for the, for, but now feel uh, voluntary prayers. If I want, I can pray. If I don't want, I did not pray. But absence of wudu means absence of Salah, correct? Inshallah, when we do Sulul Fiqh, some book maybe, Varakato, some book, uh, Inshallah, it might come into that. Uh, as of now, we'll stick with Fiqh, Inshallah. Once we finish this Fiqh, maybe we can start one book in Usul Fiqh. Because generally, you should start with uh, Fiqh and get an idea and then move to Sulul Fiqh because uh, it's uh, once you have all the idea, then you know, understand uh, Usul Fiqh, it'll be better. But you can do anyhow, I believe, um, if you explain properly. So, shart is that, that, that is shart, right? So, absence of a shart is equal to absence of the ibadah. But presence of the shart, wujud shart is not equal to presence of the worship, right? I hope you understand, right? If you don't, it's fine. I mean, it's not there in the book. Was shart la buddha. So, that's called mashroot, right? The thing which you are doing wudu for or whatever, uh, the thing you are having the condition for. Okay. So, now he starts about tahara. So all this thing, why did he tell? Okay, the scholar is to believe because salah is required. So for salah, you need tahara. So, okay. So now what is tahara? And the meaning of tahara, linguistically, Linguistically, purity means cleanliness. cleanliness and nazahata anil aqdari. Nazahata, so removing on the Aqdar, uh, al hissiya wal ma'anawiyya. Aqdar means dirt or uh, impurity. Yeah, impurities is more correct. They translate impurities. Hissiya, which you can see, physical and ma'anawiyya, spiritual, which is just a meaning why, like, kufr is uh, ma'anawiyya, for example. Wa ma'ana hasharan. So, tahara literally means cleanliness and purification of all the impurities, be it. Yeah, physical impurity or spiritual and literally sharan irtifaul hadathi wazawalun najas. So if someone asks you what is sahara in the linguistically in Jewish in fiqh wise, what is tahara? So you say irtifaul hadath wazawalun najas. Irtifaul hadath remove minor impurity and remove any uh, impure objects. Mm, clothes should be prepared. Three things should be uh, pure, if pure, generally your clothes, your body, your body, your clothes, your place, mm, the place you pray. So, what is what is Tahara? Irtifaul hadathi wa zawalun najas. Irtifaul hadath, raising the hadath, that is all the minor impurities, and zawalun najas. Things should not be like clothes and all, everything should be pure. So I'll explain now. وَارْتِفَاعُ الْحَدَثِ يَحْسُلُ بِاسْتِمَعَ لِلْمَاعَ مَعَ النِّيَّةِ So, وَارْتِفَاعُ الْحَدَثِ The removal of ritual impurity يَحْسُلُ It is attained, can be achieved بِاسْتِعْمَالِ الْمَاعِ مَاعِ مَعَ النِّيَّةِ It should be using water with نِيَّة نِيَّة For example, you've gone to the washroom. So you come back, you do wudu with niya. Fi jami'i badani in kana hadathan akbar. In all of his body, if it says hadathan akbar. 
uh, if somebody gets a wet dream or he meets his wife, yeah. So he has to. All of his body has to take a ghusl. Or the four four what? Four parts of the body. Hmm? Uh, the four parts of ablution. So the hadath, it could be either hadathun akbar or it could be hadathun asghar. Hadath means what? Impurity. So if it is hadathun asghar, you just do wudu of what's your four, four parts, face, hands, legs, uh, what else, head, that means you do wudu. أو استعمال ما ينوب عن الماء. Now he also gives a condition. If water is unavailable, unavailable. You don't have water. عند عدمه أو العجز عن استعماله. When you're, I mean, it could be two things. Either water is there, but you're you're sick and all that. أو العجز. You have عجز. عجز means you're unable to use water. عن استعماله. Or you have عدمه. عن عدمه. عدم means there's no water at all. You do تيمم. وهو التراب. And you use تراب. The clean earth. Or sand, whatever soil. Ala sifatin maksusatin on a specific sifa. Right? It's not like okay, you just do it whatever, but there's specific sifa for doing wudu and all that. But sayati insha Allah bayanun li sifat tatahur min al hadathain. And insha Allah, all this explanation will come. All the sifat tatahur, the uh, the sifa of it, how the the definition or description of the purification from the hadathain from the two hadath. Hadathun asghar as well as hadathun akbar, right? Impurity, hadath. I'm using Arabic terminology, don't worry about it, yeah? Because, because easy, Arabic is easier to understand when you use this terminology. If you use, you won't remember minor impurity and major. And uh, the major point of it is to know all this terminology, inshallah. Hmm? Uh, uh, so he says, وَغَرَدُنَا الآن. غرد, The objective now is بَيَانُ صِفَةِ الْمَا uh, description of water explaining the description the qualities of water like any water you can use for uh, no it has to be pure and all that right so it's called tatahur tatahur is purification and the water with which it's not allowed and the water with which it's not allowed tahura. So the first words he brings us, and we send down from the sky, pure water. So first is rain water. Rain water is pure. Hmm. As well as wa yunazilu alaykum for rain water. Wa yunazilu alaykum min al samai ma an yutahirakum bi. And he sends down from you upon the sky rain by which to which to purify. Yutahirakum hmm. bi. This is an anfal. What tahur? So this is what man tahura. The word is what tahur. So what tahur? So first type of water is at tahur. Huwa tahiru fi thatihi al mutahiru li ghairihi. And tahur. What is tahur? If somebody asks you, you say wa tahiru fi thatihi wal mutahiru li ghairihi. It is pure itself fi thatihi and mutahir li ghairihi. And it is also Purify others. Alright. You might be like what? If something is pure itself. It will always be. Mutahir also. No. Not every liquid. Is like that. Like for example. Um, some. Uh, fruit juice. For example. Fruit juice. Right. Now. Fruit juice. Is tahir. Like if. If it falls on my shirt. And I pray. It's fine. It's tahir. Fruit juice. Right. But uh, can I do wudu with it? Can I do wudu with it? No, it's not mutahir. So something could be tahir, but not mutahir. You understand? Fruit juice, for example. So so tahur is what? It, it is both. Ma'un tahur means what is both? Tahirun fi dhatihi wal mutahiru li ghayrihi. It should be tahir in its own self. And mutahir for, I mean, it, you could do wudu with it. It's And can be used as a means of purification. Wa huwa al-baqi ala khilqatihi. So what is that water? It is remaining on its creation. That Allah, how He created original characteristics. So how Allah created water, it is the same. 
it could be it is sent from the sky savan it is equal whether it is sent from the sky like rain wadhu bit thaluj wal barad and it could also be dhu bit thaluj wal barad snow or hail water hmm? hail 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 stones aw jariyan fil ard it could be running water kal kama al anhari wal uyud rivers springs wal abar or it could be in wells wal bihar and seas hmm? Or can be separated, or it could be distilled water, like some there's distilled water which is used, distillation factory or whatever. It could be separated, distilled water. For that, so all these waters, rain, whatever, rivers, this is for that. Who will let you see how to tahor be he? And you can do to tahor, you can do tahara with it. Use for removing. من الحدث والنجاسة. Both you can use this for hadath for doing wudu hadath and najasa also for removing physical impurity. Najasa means physical impurity. فإن تغير بنجاسة لم يتغير بالنجاسة. 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 فإن تغير بنجاسة لم يتغير بالنجاس. فإن تغير بنجاس 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 لم يتغير بالنجاس
ورجح القول بصحة التطهر به عن هيس رجح he said this is the preponderant opinion this is the correct opinion inshallah he supports the opinion رجح ترجيح he does ترجيح of the صحة التطهر به it is permissible to use such water inshallah تعالى هو الصواب that is صواب it's not ثواب the reward is صواب the صاد so ما هو الصواب يعني what is the correct opinion inshallah لأن الله سبحانه وتعالى قال because he brings words وإن كنت مرضى أو على سفر أو جاء أحد منكم منكم من الغائط أو لا مسلم من النساء فلم تجدوا ما أن فتيمم سعيدا طيبا فامسحوا بوجوهكم وأيديكم من he says Allah says but if you fail on a journey or when anyone of you comes from the the place of relieving right from relieving himself or you have contacted women and do not find water so man so anything which is called water and it's pure so see clean earth and wipe your over your faces and hands with it so he says how does he do the istidlal from this ayah Take the evidence out. It's nakira. فَلَمْ تَجِدُوا مَا أَنْ نَكِرَةٌ فِي سِيَاقِ النَّفِي So if there's something which is nakira, indefinite, which has tanween, right? Nakira. فِي سِيَاقِ النَّفِي In negative sentences, in a negative phrase, فَيَعُمُّ كُلُّ مَا كُلَّ مَا هُوَ مَا So everything, it includes generality. عَمَّا يَعُمُّ فَيَعُمُّ كُلَّ مَا هُوَ مَا أُنْ So everything, which is referred as water comes into it. لا فرق في ذلك بين نوع ونوع with no distinction between different kinds of water. Sheikh Al Islam says, نكيرة في سياق النفي عام that نكيرة indefinite in this context of negative is general. For example, I did not see a man. ما رأيت رجلا قط that means I did not see any man at all, kind of. So it's negation, you're saying, I did not see any man, that means a man. That means any man. You did not see anyone at all. Allahu alam. فَإِذَا عَدِمَ الْمَاءَ أَوْ عَجَزَ عَنْ اسْتِعْمَالِهِ مَعَ وُجُودِهِ فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ قَدْ جَعَلَ بَدَلَهُ التُّرَابِ So Allah has made clean earth the substitute for water. Hmm, clean earth for substitute for water in case water is unavailable or unable to use it. So, badal is what? Turab. So, if someone asks you, what is the dalil? What is the evidence for using tatahur uh, purification for using things which are mixed with tahir things like soap and all that? So, you bring these words, Al Maida 6, and say, Ma and Allah has used what? فَلَمْ تَجِدُوا مَا أَنْ أَنْ نَكِرَ This is نَكِرَ And if it is نَكِرَ It is عَام So that is our evidence for allowing it عَلَى صِفَةِ الْإِسْتِعْمَالِهِ بَدَلُهُ التُّرَابَ And according to the description which is pointed out بَيَّنَا النَّبِيُ صَلَى اللَّهُ سَمْ فِي سُنَّتِهِ So you use sand I mean earth Clean earth Which Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم showed how to do تَيَمْ وَسَيَعْتِي تَوْدِيحُ ذَلِكَ إِنْ شَاءَ اللَّهِ فِي بَابِي We'll explain whenever how to do tayammum and all that. I mean, you might know already, but in its bab. وَحَاذَا مِنْ لُطْفِ اللَّهِ بِعْبَادِي This is the kindness, the gentleness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with His slaves. As we pointed out, which will be dealt, Allah willing in His face. So decreeing such is a kind of divine mercy, لطف. Of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa raf'i al-haraji anhu. Haraj means difficulty, raising of difficulty. Makes things easier. Haraj is something which is difficult. So Allah raf'i al-haraj. Allah ya raf'i al-haraj. He raises anhum. Allah ta'ala wa in kuntum marda. Same verse. Aw ala safarin aw jaa ahadun minkum min al-ghaiti aw la masu min al-safa lam tajidu ma'an fatayammamu sa'idan tayyiban famsahu bi wujuhikum wa aydikum. إِنَّ اللَّهَ كَانَ غَفُوًا غَفُورًا And if you are ill on a journey, one of you comes from the place of relieving himself, contacted women, and find no water, and seek clean earth, and wipe over your faces and your hands. Indeed, Allah is ever pardoning and forgiving. قَالَ إِبْنُ هُبَيْرَ إِبْنُ هُبَيْرَ says, وَأَجْمَعُ He says, إِجْمَعُ عَلَىٰ أَنَّ الطَّحَارَةَ بِالْمَاءِ تَجِبُ عَلَىٰ كُلِّ مَنْ لَزِمَتْهُ الصَّلَىٰ That you have to do Tahara with water. 
However, it's obligatory for you to pray. Fain adimahu fa badalu. If there's no water, then you have to use the badal, which is tayammum. Liqawli ta'ala falam tajidu ma'an fa tayammamu sa'idan tayyiba. Because Allah said, if you don't find water, then you see iklinat. وَيَنَزِلُكُمْ لِقَوْلِ قَوْلِ اللَّهِ تَعَالَى وَيَنَزِلُ عَلَيْكُمْ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ مَا أَنْ لِيُطَاهِرَكُمْ بِهِ And send down water from the sky so that it could purify you. By which to purify. Let me see how much more. Yeah, we are end of the chapter inshallah. وَهَذَا مِمَّا يَدِلُّ عَلَىٰ عَظُمَةِ هَذَا الْإِسْلَامِ This showed the greatness of Islam. الَّذِي هُوَ الدِّينُ الطَّهَارَةِ وَالنَّزَاهَةِ الْحِسِّيَّةِ وَالْمَعْنَوِيَّةِ And it is the deen of purification, religion of purification. Both hissiyya, physical, as well as spiritual. كَمَا يَدُلُّ ذَلِكَ عَلَىٰ عَظُمَةِ هَذِهِ الصَّلَةِ This also shows the greatness of salah. It is not correct to enter into salah without two states of purity. It should be tahara. Al tahara tul ma'anaviyya tu min al shirk. One should be tahara ma'anaviyya, spiritual purity from shirk. It should not associate partners with Allah. It should not call upon anyone else except Allah, and so on. Wa dalika bi tawhidi. You should have tawhid, oneness of Allah subhanahu wa taala, and ikhlas. You might pray for showing off. No, you should have ikhlas, sincerity, al ibadati. إخلاص العبادة لله فوق الله سبحانه وتعالى والطهارة الحسية and the second purity is حسية physical من الحدث والنجاسة from both حدث to by doing wudu and نجاسة by cleaning the spot out وذلك يكون بالماء أو ما يقوم مقاما this could happen with water or water which takes its place وعلم so he goes on وعلم أن الماء إذا كان باقيا على خلقه لم تخالطه مادة أخرى فَهُوَ طَهُورٌ بِالْإِجْمَاعِ So, if water is on بَاقِيًا عَلَىٰ خِلْقَتِهِ is remaining in its original state لَمْ تُخَالِطُهُ مَا عَدَّةٌ أُخْرَىٰ Nothing else has mixed it فَهُوَ طَهُورٌ بِالْإِجْمَاعِ It is طَهُور طَهُور The water is pure, pure, pure إِجْمَاعُ Scholars have There's إِجْمَاعُ on it uniformly Unanimous agreement on it وَإِن تَغَيَّرَ أَحَدُ أَوْ صَافِهِ الثَّلَاثَ Now we have to look. Okay, the water is not on its own. So we have to see. أَحَدُ أَوْ صَافِ الثَّلَاثَ أَوْ صَافُ الصَّلَاسَ Are the three things which will change. ريحُهُ It's smell, odor. Like you're smelling it, it's bad or something. طَمْعُ تَعْمُهُ You're tasting it. Like you started doing wudu and in your mouth, if you put the taste is like you know a rat died in this water, in this bucket or something. أَوْ لَوْنُهُ Or its color has changed. You see what? Reehuhu aw ta'amuhu aw launuhu bi najasatin. And it should be najis thing. Not pure thing. Like we talked about pure, right? Obviously like soap falls and all that. That's fine. Fahuwa najisun bil ijma'ah. So the water is najis now. And there's ijma'ah on the la ya juzu isti'amaluhu. What happened was a rat died in the bucket and its color changed or one of the three things. Color changed, odor changed or its taste has changed. وَإِن تَغَيَّرَ أَحَدُ أَوْ صَافِي بِمُخَالَتَةِ مَادَّةٍ طَاهِرَةٍ He's again saying, if one of the three things change, order, taste and color, they change by مَادَّةٍ طَاهِرَةٍ كَأَوْرَاقِ الْأَجْجَارِ أَوْ الصَّابُونَ أَوْ الْإِشْنَانِ وَالصِّدْرِ All these things, tree leaf, low tree, soap, potash, إِشْنَان is potash, صِدْر أَوْ غَيْ ذَلِكَ أَوْ low tree Tree leaf, like low tree leaves, soap ذلك من المواد الطاهرة ولم يقلب ذلك المخالط عليه and it's not like total predominant it's not like total it became like that فلي بعض العلماء في ذلك تفاصيل وخلاف so some scholars they say there's difference of opinion and there's detail for that but as we've seen in شاء الله from what we follow if it becomes soapy water also, it's still water. If it's still called water, then it's water. وَالسَّحِيهُ أَنَّهُ طَهُورُ And the correct opinion, inshaAllah ta'ala, it is tahur. يَجُوزُ تَطَهُرُ مِنَ الْحَدَثِ وَتَطَهُرُ بِهِ مِنَ النَّجَسِ So you can do for hadath also. You can do wudu, ghusl, or you can najas also. You can clean your shirts and place and all that body. فَعَلَى هَذَا يَسِحُ لَنَا أَنَّ قُلْ Due to the above, we can say that water is divided into two categories. القسم الأول 
Tahurun yasihu tatahur bihi. One is tahur, maun tahur, pure water. It's allowed for you to do purification with it. Sawa and kana baqiyan ala khilqati. It doesn't matter if it's in its original state. Or khali tut khali khala tathu maadatun tahiratun. Or something pure has mixed with it. Lam lag yaglib taglib alihi wa lam tasloobhu ismahu. And but that uh, pure thing also, what ha what should happen? Lam taglib alihi. It should not be predominant composition like of all that prevalent enough. Or walam tasloob husmahu. Or it should not change into another object like curry, for example. You dal and all that. You can you do wudu with it? No, it's tahir. It's tahir, but it's not tahur. You see tahur. So that is why when you go into books of fiqh, you'll find another type which is tahir also. Hmm? That means you can't do wudu with it. It's pure, but it's not wudu with it. But correct, inshallah, is there are only two types, like Sheikh Ibn Uthaymin, when we read Shatr Mumti, inshallah, uh, he brings that. It's The correct is there's only Tahur and Najis. Al Qismut Thani, Najis la yajus ista'maluhu, it's not allowed for purification. Fala yadafaul hadad. But in Hambali Fiqh and other Fiqhs, you'll find books which are, you'll find three types. I mean, it's just water. But because they say it's just name, if you call something Tahir, it's not water at all. It's, it's like juice. Mm -hmm or curry it's not called water so they say there's just superfluous so the second type of water is najis so you can't do wudu with it and it's it does not remove the najasa also and what is najis how do you say the three things should change three things Three things to change. And Wallahu Ta'ala A'lam. With this we have done with water. Three types. I mean two types of water. Not three but two types of water. Alhamdulillah. So today we learned about water is important. So any water which is rivers and seas and all that. That's pure. Fine. Any water which is something pure has mixed. Right. And it's not predominant. Its name does not change. Then also it's allowed. As per the correct opinion, inshallah ta'ala. And the third is najis water. How do you know what is najis? Its taste should change, its color should change, or its smell should change. Alright, this is the end notes. Next class we'll do, inshallah, chapter 2. Anya. Vessels. So Alhamdulillah, you see, he's brought all the different. But if you go into water, there's so much discussion in other books. They'll go into so much discussion and other. Inshallah, when we do the next book, Inshallah, Shah Mumta, we will look into that, you know. But for now, it should be clear. Hmm? It should be clear. Something should change. Hmm? Something should. And they go into the discussion of Khullatayn also. Because they have, in some Madahib, what is there? The problem is, uh, they'll say, um, uh, Anything which is less than Qullatayn, Qullatayn is too huge, uh, there's some, this thing. Even if these three things don't change, it is gone, the water is gone, you see. Um, for example, there's some 10 liters of something, a rat dies in it, right? And you see there's nothing changed. Right? We look at these things, something has changed. They say no, it is less than Qullatayn, Qalas. And Qullatayn is something, liters and all that. They say khalas, it's, you don't touch it at all. Because there are hadith for that, they also have the evidences. But inshallah ta'ala, the correct opinion is, we have to look for three things all the time. Taste, color, smell. Okay, barakallahu feekum, jazakallahu khairan, subhanakallahu, ma'ayuhi, hindi kashan, la ilaha illa, astaghfirullah, assalamu alaikum, wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.